Hey guys, what's up? Rocky Darius here, and today we'll be talking about polygons and splines, and they'll be used. Uh, they'll be using the line uh, element. So we won't be creating polygon via another polygon object, or we won't create spline via uh, another spline object. But we have the we have to invoke the method of line as we have done in the previous tutorial. So let's get started. So uh, let's create a new line element and then give a semicolon over here in which we fill the properties. So the first property that you can give as the x value, the x coordinate. So let's give it about 20 and give y 20 as well. So you can now get started. So you give something called points and then you can create whatever points you would like to create. So let's say 10 comma. 20 and then let's say 40 comma uh, 90 and then 100 comma uh, let's say 300 and then let's say 200 comma 100 all right and then let's give it a stroke quickly so we give a stroke of black oops it has to be in quotes and then also give a stroke width let's say 10 again so let's run it and see what happens so nothing is happening because we have not changed this random line from the previous tutorial into polygon so I'll change it right now alright so as you can see we have a good uh, line over here so the way you change it to polygon is that you just as I was mentioning in the previous tutorial you have to set the value of close it to true so that it, it uh, closes up and you get a good uh, polygon over here in case you want to increase the sizes or increase the number of sides of the polygon you can go ahead and give it uh, various other coordinates as well so as i was uh, saying we have the closed attribute as true it's a boolean value and then so we have the polygon over here so this is very very simple this is the most sim this is the simplest method to create a polygon so I can go ahead and fill it as well. So let's fill it with a property. Let's uh, fill it with a color. So let's say 0 A E. So let's see what we get. All right. So we get a bluish color, bluish tint over here, and we can also give the stroke uh, another color. So let's say brown. Okay. So we have a good brownish color, and it's not going with us. So we can give another color. Let's say red. Alright so guys so this is simple you can play around with the stroke as usual and you can create whatever polygon you would like to give. So this is the quickest way to create a polygon. Anyways now let's get ahead and let's create a spline. What a spline is that it is usually a curved element, a curved line. So it's simple as I was mentioning in the last tutorial you give a variable called spline and then you create convo.line with which we will be creating our elements so you need to remove this and then give a semicolon so starting off in this way will always ensure that you're not getting lost with your coding so give a semicolon uh, give it uh, some curly braces and then you can specify the x values the positioning of the spline and then you can give points as well as we have done in the previous tutorial and also while giving our polygon so let me give it another value and let's say 200 so also we'll give it a stroke and before that you need to go give a comma stroke will be about three pixels oops i'm sorry uh, stroke will be a color which will be blue then we give a stroke width of three pixels Okay, and before that, you need to uh, add the spline to the layer. All right, so as you can see, we have a line over here, and we need to uh, we change it to a spline by giving it a tension property. So when you give it a tension of one, let's see what happens. All right, so I'll change the value. Uh, ch I'll change the values over here so that we can uh, see much bigger ones. So let's say 400 comma 100. 
what happens all right so as you can see we have a curved line over here and one more thing that you can give other than a line cap that we have given in the previous tutorial is that there's something called line join as well and you can put it to round or you can put it to whatever you would like to put it so if you have a round over here Alright, so when when your line uh, is is getting joined, it 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 happens in a curved fashion. So if you remove this line join, let's see what happens. Alright, there's not a big uh, change over here going on. Anyway, so guys, this is how you can uh, work work around with various stuff. So I guess you have to give something called line join with a cap with a small uh, letter. So let's see if this works out. Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. We have a uh, spine, we have seen how to create a polygon as well and that is uh, done by the line method and you can quickly give dashes as well if you would like to. So that's it for today and keep watching my videos, subscribe and share. Also tell your friends about this, give it a like so that my channel can grow. And keep watching the videos, I'll come up with much more amazing interesting stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.